have part of my family that is French, so I used to come here since a little girl. The first memory I really have was the summer that I was here with my father and we used to do, we went to all the museums and drawing the African masks or the African statues. So for me Paris is really a place of um, culture, inspiration. For me fashion, as most of the things in my life, are really related to instinct. It's always been difficult for me to express, define a type of style. And so I used to wear a lot of black, but lately I've started really enjoying colors and exploring and going for more powerful, even pink. And really for me, fashion is about the first ways of introducing yourself. It's a way, it's an extension of yourself. I have a Twitter account and I find it a very interesting way of transmitting information. Then, of course, I mean, I use, I think Twitter is a very interesting way of also communicating with so many peop different people around the world. For the moment, I'm a big fan of 50s movies, 50s, 60s, from the Lauren Bacall, Humphrey Bogart era, and then Antonioni, which is later, and Monica Vitti, which, you know, Lauren Bacall and Monica Vitti for me are very, very inspiring women. And uh, I would say also Belma. I wish I had experienced the era of the 50s and the 60s even the 70s. And I think, for example, between Monica and Lauren, it's the humor. They had amazing sense of humor, and they liked to laugh, and they liked to live and love. There's many places that I love. I love being in Egypt. I love and smell the spice in the air, and I see the light, and I see the people. I say, okay, I'm home. In Europe, I really like London. I really like Barcelona two diametrically opposite places, but where I feel at home and I feel comfortable and I feel myself. I really like Los Angeles right now and, uh, and Southern America. In Mexico, Argentina, Brazil. I like the warmth of, this, of these countries. I feel at home there.